Welcome to the homework for lesson seven. This is module seven of third grade. Put your name on here first. And this is coloring tetrominoes on the grid to create three different rectangles. You may, need, you may use the same tetromino more than once. There's the examples of them. So you're going to do this with a colored pencil or a crayon. It's the best way to do it. If you have them. And I'm going to get started with this guy right here. And I'm just going to start coloring. And there are, there's just no end to the different ways that you can put these together to make different rectangles. So you don't have to copy mine. You really should come up with your own. Okay, so that's one of those. And then what if I take one of these yellow ones and I color three down and one over. And then I could take another yellow one and go three over and one down. And that makes a rectangle right there. You can make bigger ones too. They don't have to be just two or three pieces. You can make, there's a lot of room here. So you can make, you can make some really big ones if you want. Sometimes they just end up getting big because you keep needing one more piece to finish a rectangle, to finish an end, and then it makes a part that you have to keep going to add on more to try and finish a rectangle and close it up. And it just sometimes it just gets away from you. That's okay. It's just a puzzle. So let's try the green one. Of course, you could be just done right there, couldn't you? Because that's a square, so it's a rectangle. And I could just put some green ones together. And as long as I keep putting green ones together, it's going to be easy. And then I could take one of those purple ones, because that's four across. One, two, three, four. That way I'm not just all using the same kind of tetromino. And then four, three. I could just stop right there. That's just another example. Uh, you can really play around with this a lot. <clears throat> it's better if you actually have tetrominoes. You can move them around and play with them. But doing this is, is really better than most uh, math homework assignments you're going to get. So take some time and play around with it a little bit. I'm just going to do some small ones because I don't want to. I don't want this video to take an hour and a half. And the time can really get away from you. So let's try one of these. I haven't used one of these red ones. Well, I had one in the first, right? Like that. And how about if I put another one right under it? Okay, and then I take, how about a yellow one to make like a little L right here. And you see how these things can start getting longer and longer and they can start to get away from you. Uh, and then a purple one. Let's see, another yellow one. And then I have two. How about a blue one?
And part of this is really an exercise in just trying to imagine these things in different different positions and flipped over and upside down and sideways. And just trying to make them fit. And you can see what's happening to me here. I have this one little missing piece. And the only way to make it, to fill it in, is to make my rectangle a little bit bigger. But I think I'm beginning to see the end here. because I've got four in a row. And there, now I finally have a rectangle. So that's probably the best example of how they just, you keep making them bigger. You need one more piece and you just keep going and they, they get bigger and bigger and then finally you have a big rectangle. Hopefully you had some fun with that one. Now uh, color tetrominoes on the grid below to create a square with an area of 16 square units. Create and then B, create at least two different rectangles, each with an area of 24 square units. You may use the same tetromino more than once. Well, probably like the easiest thing that I can think of right off is... For 16 square units, I'm looking at this guy right here. That's four. That's four square units. So if I use four of those, that's going to make a square. And it's going to be 16 square units because it's four fours, right? All right, so there's A. You're going to label it A. And then it says create two different rectangles, each with an area of 24 square units. Well, let's see. I have this guy here is 4. And I know 6 4s is 24. So I could just put 6 of those together to make a rectangle. That would be one way to do it. That's one of them. That would be one, two, three, four, right? And then now I need six columns of four to do it. Two, three, four, five. Six, that's one of them. And then another way we could also do this with this with the um these are just rectangles, but I could do it also with the with the green squares. That would be probably the other easiest way to do it. There's other ones that you can use too. There really are. So I would need Again, these are all four square units, so you're going to need six. Somehow, however you do it, you're going to need six tetrominoes because they're all four square units. Two, three, four. Five, six, and those are just the first ones I thought of. Maybe you can find other ones. 
And now here it says, explain how you know the rectangles you created in problem 2b have the correct area. So those are the, the rectangles with 24 square units. So I'm just going to write, I, what I can do for this is I can write, I can write formulas for those. Um, this first one is, has a, has sides of four by six, right? So four times six equals 24. And this one is, has a sides of two and where we have probably 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 2 times 12 for the area of that rectangle. Both Both rectangles make arrays with products of 24. Square units.